Indian Air Force is set to finalize a deal to purchase 83 Tejas Mk-1A lightweight single-engine fighters, which will mark the second major order for the aircraft following a prior order for 40 jets. The Tejas began development in the early 1980s, and following massive delays and almost 40 years of work the aircraft was accorded Final Operational Clearance FOC, by India's Aviation Certifying Authority in February 2019. The fighter is from a comparable weight range to the Swedish Gripen and Pakistani JF-17 fighter, and is considerably lighter than higher-end single-engine designs such as the American F-16 Fighting Falcon and Chinese J-10 Firebird. While touted as an indigenous program, many of the Tejas core systems are purchased off the shelf from foreign suppliers including an American F-404 engine, the same as that designed to power the F-20 Tigershark light fighter in the 1970s, an Israeli sensor suite in electronics, and Russian air-to-air -air missiles. Development of a lightweight and low-cost indigenous fighter has been pursued by a range of countries from Sweden to Taiwan from a number of reasons, allowing them not only to tailor the jet to the needs of their armed forces. Develop high-end technologies domestically and pursues their own design philosophies, but also because manufacturing jets domestically is usually a great deal cheaper than importing them at market prices. Considering the highly ambitious plans India has to expand its fighter fleet, which will require the induction of over a dozen new squadrons in the near future. A low-cost lightweight indigenous jet would provide an effective means of doing so while remaining within the limits of the country's defense budget. The only issue with this is that India's Tejas, largely due to its reliance on very costly foreign technologies, is very far from a low-cost fighter, with the recent order costing the Defense Ministry $62.7 million per airframe. Purchasing the F-404 and Israeli sensors and electronics at export prices, which are the most costly parts of the jet, the Tejas cannot be manufactured as a cheap indigenous platform as Pakistan's JF-17, Taiwan's Ching Kuo and Brave Eagle, China's J-10 and JL-15 or America's F-16 are. Using the American F-35A as an example of the discrepancy in the prices of domestically produced and exported fighters, the jet is being purchased by the Air Force for around $80 million each but is being marketed for export for around $200 million each. Similarly, while Russia's Su-57 is currently the most costly non-Western fighter being marketed for export, with an estimated export price of around $110 million, it is being purchased by the Russian Air Force for just $35 million each. Compared to the prices Russia and the US respectively are purchasing the Su-57 and F-35A, both state-of-the-art fifth-generation designs which are considerably heavier and more sophisticated than the Tejas. The Indian fighter appears to present the country with much less value for money than previously thought. 